Open Heavens Daily Devotional Written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Worldwide Today, Sunday, August 4th, 2024 Topic The Red Sea Must Part Memory Verse And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. Genesis Chapter 32 verse 24 Bible reading Exodus chapter 14 verse 21 to 29 And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand, and on their left. And the Egyptians pursued and went in after them to the midst of the sea, even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And it came to pass that in the morning watch the Lord looked unto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud, and of the cloud, and troubled the host of the Egyptians, and took off their chariot wheels, that they drave them heavily. So that the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel, for the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared. And the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them, but the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Today's message In Exodus chapter 14 verse 5 to 31 the Israelites were in a terrible situation. Behind them, the Egyptian army was charging at them, and in front of them was a great sea they could not swim across. There was no humanly possible solution to their problem, yet they turned to a fellow human, Moses, for help. Thank God Moses was wise enough to turn to God because, at crossroads like that, the only way out is the way God provides. In situations like the one the Israelites were in, you should face God and say, Lord, this Red Sea must part. I will not let you go, except you make a way for me. Those are not times for gentlemanly prayers. They are times for violent prayers such that God will know that you will not rest until you get a miracle. I remember one time that I was in such a situation. I lay flat on the road in the middle of the night at Redemption City crying to God desperately for help. When there is a serious problem and there is no way out, I'll hold on to God in prayers and I don't let go until He parts the sea and makes a way for me. In Matthew chapter 15, verse 22 to 28, the Canaanite woman knew that the only solution to her daughter's problem was with Jesus. So she did not let anything deter her. She pestered Him until she got what she wanted. The woman with the issue of blood had gone to all the doctors in the land and spent all her money, yet the illness remained. She knew that the only way out of her problem was to make contact with Jesus. So even though the crowd was great and she was weak from all the bleeding, she pressed through until she touched him and got her healing. Maybe the reason some Christians are relaxed in the place of prayer is that they cannot see how close the enemy is to them. Maybe they cannot see that the devil is doing all he can to win the battle over them. Beloved, don't wait until it is too late. Pray now. Don't condone that problem any further. Deal with it now. Stop thinking that your solution is with any man when only God can help you. If you call on Him to make a way for you where there is no way, He will do it. Are you ready to pray now? Prayer Point Father, this Red Sea, mention the problem, must part today. Please make a way for me, Lord. A blessed morning to you and happy Sunday.
Do have a fruitful and fulfilling day in Jesus' name. Join us for Hour of Revelation and Prayer every Wednesday at 6 p.m. A time of refreshing also awaits you every Sunday at 10 a.m. as you attend our Sunday worship service. Our hymn for today is Hymn 22, Sweet Hour of Prayer. Be inspired as you listen in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer that calls me from a world of care and bids me at my Father's throne make all my wants and wishes known in seasons of distress and grief my soul has often found relief and oft escaped the tempter's snare by thy return sweet hour of prayer Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, the joy I feel, the bliss I share, of those whose anxious spirits burn with strong desires for thy return. With such I hasten to the place Where God my Savior shows His face And gladly take my station there And wait for the sweet hour of prayer Sweet hour of prayer, sweet hour of prayer, Thy wing shall my petition bear. To Him whose truth and faithfulness Engage the waiting soul to bless, and since he bids me seek his face, believe his word and trust his grace, I'll cast on him my every care and wait for the sweet hour of prayer.